SNK recently announced the Neo Geo Pocket Color Selection Volume 1. It's a collection of 10 Neo Geo Pocket games in one, and they just out of nowhere released the collection digitally today for the Nintendo Switch. They are gonna be releasing a physical collection in the near future, but they haven't you know, shared any details yet. I'm really hoping it's not through like any of these limited run game type things. I just wanna to go to the store and buy it. I don't wanna to have to wait a long time for a pre-order, but we'll have to wait and see. I will double dip. I mean, I've already kind of triple dip because I did buy the digital collection and six of the 10 games here were already available before, but there's more to it now. So I've already like have access to six of these games, but they added four more. So we have Big Tournament Golf, Dark Arms, Metal Slug First Mission and Second Mission. I really like this uh, layout here, this user interface. You got the Neo Geo pocket cartridges. I think that's really cool. There's like a resume feature because I've backed out of this, closed it, shut off my Switch, went back into the games and it just resumes where I'm at. But there's a lot of cool things going on here. So let's take a look. Obviously you could just play the game, but one neat thing is there is a box for each game you could look at. Zoom up all up in his face if you want. I think that was really neat. These boxes, I don't remember seeing too many of these in my days. I think they were mostly released in plastic clamshells like this in Japan and in Europe. In the US, we had like cardboard boxes. I do have a handful of games, original games in these, but they came from Japan. Thought that was pretty neat, but uh, here you go. You can go ahead and take a look at the box for each game. Press A to open it up, pull out the cartridge, take a look at it in its little plastic shell like the Game Boy games used to come in. Press A to open that, take it out, zoom up, get all in there. I thought that's a neat little feature. Will you spend much time doing that? Probably not, but it's a nice little addition. You know what I'm saying? So let's get out of that. We can also look at the manual. The manuals are accessible through each game as well. Same thing, you can zoom up, take a look at his nose hairs if he's got any. Go ahead and open it up. It takes a second to load the pages. These games, I mean, they're only two button games. That's what the Neo Geo Pocket Color was. But hey, I mean, it's still nice to have manuals. I miss manuals. I say it all the time. If You know, they are releasing a physical collection. I would hope it would come with the manual, but it probably won't. But if you release like a special version for a few bucks more and it comes with a big fat ass manual for, you know, like combined a compendium for all 10 of these games, I think that would be awesome. I mean, it's just basic information, but I still like this stuff. Looking at the artwork, you know, for the fighting games, it comes in handy because you can figure out what the move sets are for most of the characters. But yeah, very nice, cool stuff. There is that. And then language options, we can change it from English to Japanese and it changes the cartridge. I don't know if there's regional differences between the games, but it's still neat that you have that if you want to use it. Device, this is interesting because I can't quite figure out exactly what is going on here, but we'll we'll check it in a second. You could choose to be color, new color. I'm not sure, is that like the second revision of the pocket color? I don't know, was the display different? Or black and white, so the original Neo Geo pocket. Not all the games will play in black and white though, mind you. Like second mission won't because it's not compatible. If you look at the box art for each of the games, it will show you that, but like if you go on the second mission, and you choose black and white. This is the one thing, like if you can't play it that way, I don't know, maybe it should have an asterisk there or not even give you the option because if you go into it, it'll pop up like if you put this game physically in an original Neo Geo Pocket non-color, it'll say you can't play it. I guess to keep it, you know, that authentic experience, they left that there? Okay, so moving forward, let's go ahead and jump into a game, see if we could figure out like, I'm sure somebody will tell me the difference between color and new color, but I just wanna showcase this real quick. So we'll put it to new color, go to play, and here we go. If you if you hit this uh, minus button, I, I was gonna say select, pretty much the same thing. You have rewind, just like if you bought these games individually, not all of them are available, I would hope they would, but the games are $8 each if you buy them individually, but they haven't put the other four up individually yet. I don't know if they're going to, but, if you paid $8 for all 10 games, it's 80 bucks. This collection is $40 right now. There you go, manual. You have uh, display options, just like with the single collection or the single individual games. You could change which Neo Geo Pocket you wanna use. They didn't add any new ones from what I could tell to this collection. It's just same stuff that's been available in the individual downloads, but still pretty cool to have that. You could zoom up, 
you can get to the point where there is no bezel. There you go. I like leaving it to like one of the blue ones. We'll leave it there. Uh, I'm not sure if this will come through very well. Let's go ahead and get into the game a bit so you can see. Okay, right here, I'll show you uh, with the display toggle filter. So there's like a dot matrix type filter that you could use in person. It looks good. It darkens the screen a bit on video. It kind of looks a little messy in person. It looks all right, but I don't like using it. So I just leave it alone. Uh, leave it the default. No filter controls. You could swap the A and B button default. It's backwards to what the system originally was. So I always swap it to the B button being the A button. And then you could reset exit. And if you go back in like, okay, let's exit and then change it to color and then go back in. I'm not sure if there's a difference here. It changes the bezel for some reason. Maybe it's just the bezel. Is that it? I don't freaking know, but that option is there. So this is first mission. Let's play this for a quick second. But there's some heavy hitters on this, man. It's cool because to play these games on the Nintendo Switch, an officially released collection, you, know, you play it in portable mode on the Switch Lite or the regular Switch. It's like you got a Neo Geo Pocket Color. It's it's freaking awesome. Yeah, this game is cool. The second second mission, there's like a lot more slowdown, I think, than this version or this this game. But it's still both of them are pretty cool games. And I think second mission, the graphics are slightly more detailed, a little more color maybe, or it could be about the same. We'll take a look in a second. Okay, I just died, but whatever. All right, let's exit out and go to second mission. But yeah, some of these games are, they're selling for a lot of freaking money nowadays if you buy the original cartridge. So it's cool to have, have this collection if you're into this kind of stuff. I love Neo Geo and Neo Geo Pocket. The Pocket Color in the US, we only got about 30 games released here. So this is about a third of the games. And with these heavy hitters here, uh, SNK, you know, Match of the Millennium, that kind of thing. Samurai Showdown, Gals Fighters. Those are some big titles. If they release a volume two, why would they call this volume one if there's not gonna be a volume two? What are they gonna put on volume two? That's what I wants to know. Man. So here we go. This game, uh, maybe the, the colors are gonna be about the same. All right, let's get into it. It could be some more detail. Let's find out. Let's find out. It's been a little while. Let's, yeah, this game has some freaking slowdown. <laughs> it's still a fun game, but it does have slowdown in a few spots. Yeah, graphics wise from a, you know, the first and second one's about the same, but the first one doesn't have as much slowdown as this game does. And that's the way it plays in the original hardware too, from what I remember. I played through this back in the day, but there's that, pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and see what, oh, let's play the, uh, the golf game. So I've turned this system off. I've exited the game multiple times and it should resume where I was at on big tournament golf. I played it in black and white for a moment. Let's see. And yes, it does. It still keeps you there. So let's get into it. Oh shit. Show you what this looks like. Did we, did we get that? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Par. You can play this game in color as well, but if you never had a color and you want to play it in black and white, more power to you. It's cool that you have that option if you want to use it, but all these games play in color, so, I mean, why not? For nostalgia's sake, you can mess around with it, but hey, either way, it's really cool. Bam! Ooh, ooh. Right on the green, but we have that hill now. on the green. Oh, and the other thing, I'll, I'll point it out in a second. Ah, oh, shit, we went a little too. Maybe that'll be all right. Hell yeah. The other thing I wanna point out, and I know I opened the game up this way, but I've pointed this out in other videos. I'll put a, um, a playlist, because I've, I've covered most of these games already for the Switch, or at least the ones that you know have been released previously. But if you wanna play two players, they have that option as well, and as you see, I kind of was testing this a moment ago. It goes to split screen. If you got two controllers, you're playing two player, boom, it makes two instances of the game or the system anyway. And you can play it that way. And you still have a few options. Display, you could just zoom in and out. You don't have any bezels or anything. But hey, I thought that was pretty cool that we have that. So 
There you go. I think this collection is awesome. It is a little pricey for what it is, but all things considered, if you're a Neo Geo fan, this may be right up your alley. If you've already bought some of these games, hopefully they put the new ones up for individual order. I mean, it only makes sense. Like you're selling this for 40 bucks, but you sell the games individually for eight. Like, why wouldn't they? If you've already bought a few of them, you may be like, dude, I want to spend $40 if I... Well, I mean, if you buy the four games that they put them up, that's like 30 something bucks. So yeah, either way you look at it, man. I think it's 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 a worthwhile collection. Can't wait for the physical to come out, hopefully with that badass manual I was talking about. But the one thing I, I always point out, just real quick, get those gold points so you can buy digital games cheaper. So for example, I've already got the points, but if you go on onto a game that you have a cartridge in, you press the plus button, go down to my Nintendo rewards, and then go to earn gold points. Those gold points are good as cash. Collect them. When I bought the $8 individual games, I only paid like a dollar or two for each one because I had gold points throughout time. I always collect those gold points. Make sure you're doing it. I, got, I saved a few bucks on this collection, but you know, not much. But hey, every little bit helps, man. Check it out. It's available now. Appreciate you guys. Peace out. Bye-bye and boom. Bye. Biggest thumb butt.